Hi, um, do you remember I made you a little video about this a while ago now? I'll try and find the link to it and put it on this post. So what I'd done was I doodled this in here um, and it was part finished but then I decided to stitch into the page and I did that with you on camera now I've finished that now that's something we're doing in embroidery school um, but that's finished now but I did say at the time when I made that video that I'd quite like to stitch into this one so because I, um, I've been showing you for quite a lot recently some really colourful stuff I'm doing like making these little books um, I said today because I had things to do for embroidery school which I do and I was consumed by that last night and my uh, my embroidery ledger stroke sketchbook class um, don't really got anything I can show you today because obviously class needs to see things first so I thought I would just do a little bit of stitching in this video so these this doodle there's little dots around there that are French knots allegedly so I'm gonna do a couple of French knots in there with you and then I want to put some dangly stuff over here so we'll just do a few lemon French knots first um, so yeah I mean uh, there's not enough hours in the day I'm sure you know that as well um, so much I want to do. I'm kind of invigorated. I've had two trips to London in the past month and it's inspiring and invigorating. Even buying my supplies down there that I can only get down there. Well I can get the mail order but it's nicer to actually go and get them. And then the Dior exhibition which I've been to twice now and the Mary Quant exhibition that I've also been to twice. Um, it just... <sighs> fires me up so I want to do so many different things but obviously I'm not in a bad way this is a good way and I'm quite happy about this I'm committed to my classes they need my attention and hopefully what's inspiring me out out with of class is also going to feed class so it, you know it all um it's like a circle of creativity isn't it I'm just going to do a couple of ping pongs just put this back on here um, I'll do a couple of pink ones just so you can see the variation of the colour so yeah um, and like I said there are a million things I want to do which I'm sure you do too and I've been up very early today I've been like playing with fabric and things since half past seven this morning so so far I'm having an awesome day an incredible day. Um, so let's just do a couple of pink and then I'll put a couple of dangly things on. So, I mean, these little sketches, enhancing them with stitch. When I've done this little thing with you, I probably won't touch this again today because I've got other things lined up that I want to do. Um, I'll probably put, not with you, but I'll put a couple of white ones in here as well. And I won't necessarily stitch the whole thing because I think it's nice just to have a little hint of stitch here and there, you know what I mean? So, oops. So I'll fasten that off and then I'll go to the dangly things. I don't want to keep it too long because I can imagine it's, um, well, if it was boring you won't be watching, but I think if it went on too long then it would be, uh, pretty boring for you. I've got a needle threaded, it's like Blue Peter. So the dangly thing, and I'm not saying anything about the process here or why I'm doing X, Y or Z because that's like for my classes, for my girls, but so a little dangly there. So let's take that back. There. quite hard actually because I'm so used to saying I'm doing this because and think about this that the other that um, it's quite difficult to not say that let me just see that's all right it's perfect do another one 
So. Oh, I do like it. This paper isn't anything special. I mean, it's nice paper, but it's not um, thick paper. It's not like watercolour paper or anything. But these little books are such a delight. You gotta be careful, you know. I hope you always pay attention to what's going on on the reverse of your work because sometimes I can be stitching for hours and then I'll look at the back and I'll have the most terrible mess of knotted thread that I hadn't realised. So I've kind of been training myself to constantly look at the reverse, but I didn't then, so that's me taught a lesson. Last one. And then I'll leave you in peace and I'll go off and play some more. That one, they don't all have to be the same length. In fact, I prefer it if they're not. There. Well, see, that's quite nice. How long is that? Six minutes. You know, that's a nap. lovely little exercise. Um, just to go back to these little books. I think it's Lily Moon, she's called, on Etsy. They're just lovely. They're only small. Uh, yeah, Lily Moon. Um, how big is it? Let me just make it. One, two, three, four, five by five, I think, I guess. Yeah, five by five, but they're just really lovely to have, and they always have these lovely little page markers, and you get um, like little stickers and things in them as well, right. things like this. I'm not, and I'm not on commission. Trust me, I'm not. Um, I wish, but anyway. So there you go. 